Notion and Obsidian had a baby. It's any time. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam. Hope you guys are getting things done. Today I'm here to talk about this new app that I'm loving. I recently stumbled upon any type and really loved the way this app helps to manage my life. Now there are three main features that really sold me on this. It's local, decentralized and open code. Let's talk in detail. The app is local so it keeps everything on the system which results in faster loading time and no chance of losing your data that usually happens on Notion. Notion is great but when you try to run it offline there is a good chance that you might lose data when you go back online. Second, it's decentralized where your data is not just stored on your computer but when you go online the data is kept in distributed pieces across the internet rather than one server. This is one of the newer technologies for security. No person can access your data. And third, it's open source so it's completely transparent. You already know what it means. Before before talking about more features of the app, let's take a look at how it all works. There is no one video that can cover extensively about the app, hence I will be doing the features explore here. And if you want, we can have another video guiding how to use the app for the best. Upon opening the app, it runs you through a smooth setup. I just want to say that make sure that you keep this recovery key in a safe place, otherwise you won't be able to recover your account. And you would also need this for logging into other devices. The app is very much inspired by Apple, like when you edit things it wiggles like iOS, however the general UI feels very intuitive and doesn't take more than a while to get. Just like Notion, it's based on blocks, whereas you create new nodes in Notion, here you create new objects. Then those objects could be linked together, creating a mind map like Obsidian. This way you can visually see what's on your head. And great thing is that it's not that complex. It took me 15 minutes to get started. Also it automatically links objects. The page itself is block based so you can drag and move things around. To make a block, press forward slash. Seems familiar? Good thing is that it is so versatile that you can do almost anything with it. Like you can create knowledge base, trip planning, daily journal, data vault, etc. For those who are more comfortable with Kanban, it has that as well as table and gallery view. Other than that, there are features that elevate it further like peer-to-peer -peer sync on local networks, offline account setup and on-device encryption. Now coming down to the pricing, this is what the pricing looks like. All for free? Crazy! I don't know how long it's going to be free but as of now it is and you must give it a try. You can find the link in the description. I felt that they are doing a great work in productivity space. Rather than copying from each other, they are building something new. Let's see where it goes from here. Though I have noticed some things which need attention but save it for a later video. That was it for today. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Now if you are looking for new note taking apps then you can watch this video right here. And if you want the best cloud storage service then you must watch this like share subscribe stay safe bye bye